Hello there. Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. And today, boy, an unusual poster by the legendary Velvet Underground at an equally legendary concert hall, the Boston Tea Party in Boston, Massachusetts. Pretty unusual. It's a cardboard psychedelic 1960s concert poster for Lou Reed and the gang in red, yellow, and blue. And as you can see, it has an artistic rendering of the band. Now this was five months after the release of their debut album, The Velvet Underground and Nico, with the famous Andy Warhol banana cover, and five months before the release of their sophomore effort, White Light, White Heat. And you know, the summer of 67 was, you know, post Andy Warhol and Nico, sort of a new beginning for the band, and the Boston Tea Party was one of their very favorite hunts, so it was a match made in heaven. In fact, in 1968, Lou Reed was quoted as saying, this is our favorite place to play in the whole country. The building was almost 100 years old, but it had become a rock concert hall just this January. So the VU, you know, they practically held a residency there. They had already played in May and June, but never with Warhol, Nico, and the exploding plastic inevitable. So, you know, the quartet sort of embraced the Boston Tea Party as their place and part of their new beginning. So, lovely poster here. Across the top there in the rolling psychedelic lettering, The Velvet Underground. And then you've got The Freeborn, opening act, Boston-based psychedelic band consisting largely of high schoolers. But the group's Bob Margolin evolved into a blues guitarist of note, and he went on to play with Muddy Waters in the 1970s. So a nice opening act there. Then you've got the locomotive chugging across the poster with Boston Tea Party on a car that it is pulling. <laughs> 53 Berkeley Street. That was the original address and the club would move partway through its existence. And then you've got the drawing of the band and in the lower left hand corner there it does say copyright Lightship Productions 67. And then the details along the bottom of the poster there, ticket details uh, and so forth, August 11th and 12th 8 p.m., $3. Advanced tickets, paperback Booksmith, TCA, and George's Folly. And then it does say Dolphin Design, which almost looks like, you know, another ticket venue, but it's a co-designing credit along with Lightship. So, what a trip. Boy, the Boston Tea Party in the Summer of Love, huh? 1967, wow. Now, musician Jonathan Richmond used to attend VU shows at the BTP, <laughs> and uh, he has quite a quote about the type of crowd it would attract. Check this out. Jonathan Richmond says, it was a f the crowd was fun. Wall-to-wall -wall hippies, bikers, Harvard students, fashion models, professors, drug dealers, art teachers, groupies, MIT students, photographers, local thugs, disc jockeys, visiting dignitaries from the New York art scene, and the royalty of the Boston music set. Boy, it just it makes you want to fire up that time tunnel and go back in time. What we wouldn't give. Wow. And you know, speaking of royalty, this exact poster came directly from the collection of Velvet Underground guitarist Sterling Morrison. So it's got great providence. What a fun key piece. Just great, great stuff. Psychedelic posters, Summer of Love, 67, and the VU. You just can't beat it. Thanks a lot for dropping by today. Take care, and we'll see you around soon for something else. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.